back on the Sports Max Zone and we're going to talk some track and field now. The rescheduled Carifta Games are facing cancellation. This as a recent spike in COVID-19 cases in the host country, Bermuda, has cast serious doubts over the ability of the organizers to stage the event set for August the 13th to the 15th. Now, the games were originally set, as usual, for the Easter weekend, but uh, they were further delayed due to the pandemic. Uh, the August dates uh, were chosen ahead of some early July dates to avoid a conflict for those athletes sitting CXC exams. Now, joining us to look at what options are open to the organizers, President of the St. Kitts and Nevis Amateur Athletic Association, Delwayne Delaney, we remember him as an outstanding sprinter for the Sugar Isle. And uh, Delwyn, welcome to the Sports Mag Zone. Great to have you on. Yeah, thanks for, ha for having me and good evening to all the listeners yeah. out there in um, TV land and their other social media platforms. Yeah, great, Delwyn. Talk to us quickly about the current factors surrounding the Carifta Games, now set for August, and the possibility, a real one, that NACA may finally have to cancel this meet? Um, because of the situation and its fluidity, we are not certain as to the stance uh, as Carifta, as the hosting of Carifta. Um, of course, one would have to take into consideration the COVID-19, um, the coronavirus, um, the quarantine period for many of the islands, both if we are incoming um, passengers and returning passengers, and the different protocols in each island. One would have to also take into consideration the option of vaccination, which is always a hot, hot topic. Um, I know for us here in St. Kitts and Nevis, um, the vaccination is only open to persons who are 18 years and older. And you would have, you would know that many of our character athletes, not just in St. Kitts Nevis, but throughout the region, they have they have the the under eighteen category. So they are not eligible automatically for vaccination. So there are a number of, of um I wouldn't say issues but number of factors rather that could affect um the, the, the hosting of the character game. Um we are Definitely looking forward to for it to be happening, but I mean the reality of the situation is as such. Yeah, as we speak on the 29th of April, Delwyn, what has been the latest word from NACAC to the St Kitts and Nevis Association re the Carifta Games? Uh, we, we have to go back to the drawing board. They, uh, we discuss among the, the different member states about the the. There are possibilities. Uh, we we outline them on the table in terms of what can be done, what cannot be done. We have many options. Um, they have asked some for some time to review the, the the options and to come up with a definitive answer within the, a short span of time. Yeah. Talk so to us about the preparedness of your athletes. I know that St Kitts and Nevis has been one of the CARICOM countries not as badly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic as many of your neighbors. How vibrant is the training program there and, and the readiness of, of the athletes if the, the games are to go on? Um, once given ample time to prepare, I think the athlete could be in some sort of shape. Um, we have continued our track and field program. Um, although we're not uh, affected by the coronavirus as, as such as other countries, we still uh, have different protocols in terms of no spectators presently um, and, and max capacity of 150 uh, per event, which is inclusive of the athletes. But nevertheless, we, uh, because of our small size, it doesn't really affect us. Uh, we are able to host track and field meet just the um, upcoming this weekend. We are having a youth and junior championship. And we're hopeful, we are very hopeful that, you know, the character games could be held so that these um, at least not only could get the opportunity to showcase their talent, but we know what possibilities lie for these athletes as it relates to uh, further education, uh, be, um, scholarships to universities, and get on that, that scene, you know. It's almost yeah. like the melting pot for 
the Caribbean athletes, the junior Caribbean athletes, and this is something that all all junior athletes look forward to. You know, many of the athletes train. Yeah. Set their senior season junior athletes are running personal best um, at our development meets or what we call challenge series meets. We have persons um, attaining scholarship during this this period as well. So I think it will be sufficient time for our athletes because the current shape they're in right now. Right. And what's the state of vaccination in St. Kitts and Nevis? And I'm asking this because, of course, a local organizing committee member uh, in Bermuda has said that if the athletes are not vaccinated and if those coming into the country are not vaccinating, they will have to quarantine for 14 days. Um, the vaccination um, rollout is going steadily um, with some hesitation, of course. Everybody, most when everybody has their own beliefs and in terms of the vaccination and that sort of thing. Um, not much of the younger persons are being vaccinated, especially the athletes. And again, the majority of our athletes are under 18, so they're not eligible to take the vaccine, whether or not they decided or uh, decide to take the vaccine. They're, they're just not eligible at this point in time. Definitely. But, yeah, so so the vaccination I don't think would be an issue in terms of they're not taking it or they are taking it, but so much so the regulations that guide the, the, the rollout of the vaccination, um, that being the age. Uh, Delwain, one of the things that people are fearing, especially parents and guardians of student athletes, is that with the delays and cancellations and postponements, opportunities could be missed, you know, that, that, that lucrative opportunity, lucrative and otherwise, right. of going overseas and getting a place set up for you in a university. You can do your track career and do your academics and be better off for it. That this, that, that this is the main cause for the concern of most parents and guardians. Is that concern right. real, you would say? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, missing out on the opportunity because one would have to consider those at least last year who would have been in the last year as a junior and so they wouldn't have gotten the chance to compete and if not this year again there goes another year for our our last year um athletes that being that they are the 20 athletes so that that is a, a real fear i mean character tend to bring out the best in you so yeah yeah and, and quickly there Wayne, and quickly as we as we wrap is there uh, well, are there strong enough relationships, you would say, between some of the national associations or whether, whether senior officials within the national associations or senior figures who could maybe, without the benefit of a Karifta to showcase the athlete's talent, broker some arrangements for them with their contacts in North America to get them those scholarship opportunities, notwithstanding the fact that they weren't able to show their talent on the Karifta stage? Are, those, are there enough of those to be optimistic that the problem can be ameliorated is the question. Yes, in, in, in some sense, because quickly uh, we have a master Brown, who is a former Olympian, and she's a part of our team. And she's the athlete's rep, and she operates a business called Fit Camp Recruit. And she has been doing a very good job in showcasing and, and making that necessary contact with, with the universities, um, some of those universities that you won't hear about, uh, you know, the smaller universities and college. And she has been, has been able to get um, scholarship, full scholarship for about four to, four to five persons already. So there is some seniority in terms of making that contact through this uh, this organization, Kick Camp Record. And again, she's doing a marvelous job and she continues to push for the athlete. And I would implore persons and other countries um, to get on board in uh, doing something of the like because you, we just can't sit back and say, oh, well, no, no, Karifta, I guess that, that, you know, you have to make, it, it gives opportunity, it lends up um, for new opportunities, and I think we should embrace it at the same time. Delwin, thanks for talking to us here on the Sports Max Zone, and we monitor what uh, happens in the coming weeks and uh, what, what will happen with the Karifta Games, whether it will be on or not in Bermuda. Thanks for talking to us. Um, Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me. Delwin Dehaney, a former... Delaney, former outstanding sprinter for St. Kitts and Nevis, a part of the uh, sprint relay team that won a silver medal at the uh, Panam Games back in 2011. And uh, he just 
talk to us about St. Kitts and Nevis and its position, really the tentative Carifta games. Back with more on The Zone after this.